What's up everybody? Today we're going to explore Chatbase. Chatbase is the easiest and most powerful way for you to build a custom version of ChatGPT for your business. Every day over 5,000 businesses use this tool to collect leads, handle customer support, and so much more. Previously, building a custom AI chatbot required coding experience and AI expertise. So many businesses weren't able to take full advantage of these new AI innovations. Chatbase changes this completely. Now businesses of all sizes can have a custom AI chatbot trained on their own data live on their website in minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. No coding skills required. I promise anyone can do this. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so we're logged into Chatbase. This is the main dashboard. As you create additional chatbots, they'll all be added here. First, you need to decide what you're going to build. You can build a 24 seven customer support agent or you could build an AI persona for lead generation or even an internal tool for your team. When you're ready, click new chatbot. First things first, you need a data source to train your chatbot on. Chatbase gives you a few options and you can combine several together. You can import files, you can paste in text, crawl your own website, or you can use Q&A to answer common questions. And if you use Notion as a knowledge base for your business, you can even connect to that here and train it on your entire Notion account or on select pages. For this video, I'm going to train it on a sample PDF. All right, it's done. That was super fast. Here's the chat bot. You can interact with it right here. Let's dive into the customization options. If you click settings, you can rename your chat bot. Under model, you can give your chatbot specific instructions that customize your AI's behavior. And below that, you can select the AI model you would like to use. You can also decide how creative you would like your chatbot's responses to be with this slider right here. Inside chat interface, you can customize the initial messages and add some suggested messages. You can pick light mode or dark mode, whichever fits your website best. And you can add a custom profile picture and a custom display name. So like Siri or Karen or whatever you want, maybe your business name. You can even upload a custom chat icon with your brand colors or a logo. Now in leads, you can customize the messages that collect data from potential leads. And if you only want their email, for example, you could turn off phone and name. Okay, now if you go to dashboard, you can see a log of all the conversations your chatbot has had. This is a great way to see how your chatbot is performing in the real world. As you see here, there's a confidence score for each response it generates. A low confidence score might mean that you need to add some additional data to your chatbot and then retrain it. That way it's prepared to answer that specific question. Below that is leads. This is where you can export the leads that your chatbot collects. You can just click export and choose either CSV or PDF. Below that, you can go to analytics, and this is where you can monitor the number of chats your chatbot has and their location by country. We've already been over sources, but here is where you can add more now that you've created the chatbot. Okay, now under integrations, this is where you can connect your chatbot to thousands of other apps using Zapier. You could use it to update a CRM or trigger email automations or open a customer support ticket. Really the sky's the limit with this. You can build whatever you can imagine. Also below that is where you can connect your company's Slack workspace, meaning your team can access and chat with your chatbot inside of Slack. They never have to leave Slack. This is just amazing. Now, when you're ready to launch your chatbot, just go to the embed on site page. You can place it anywhere on your website with the iframe code, or you can place a chat bubble on the bottom right side of your website with the script tag. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Finally, if you click share, you can just share a direct link with anybody using this link. So here I've embedded the chatbot on a sample website. I think it looks super clean. This is the iframe embedded inline with the page. And then at the bottom, this is the chat pop-up on the bottom right. Chatbase really gives you so much control over this without making things complicated at all. All right, if you have a question about how to use Chatbase in your business, leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer it. If you want to build your own custom chatbot, then click the link below to get started for free. If you want more videos like this about how to use Chatbase, then click the subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.